Hi everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, welcome. My name's Megan and I post mainly fashion and style videos, so if you like the sound of that, then please feel free to subscribe. So for today's video, I'm doing an ASOS haul. This bag is actually empty because I've hung everything up, probably for the bags because it was so heavy anyway. So let's just hop on into this ASOS haul and please do like this video if you enjoyed. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna start with the coat, which you'll be able to see better in the try-on clips, but it's just this huge, long, woolly coat that I saw on Molly May and I thought it was really nice. I decided to go for a 12 so that it would be quite oversized but it is actually very oversized so I think I might send it back and get a 10. But it's just so cute and cosy and the number one thing I love about it are how long and huge the sleeves are because a lot of the time I find when you size up with coats that the um, this area gets bigger but then the sleeves are still really skinny and I like huge cosy sleeves that make me look like I'm wearing a dressing gown. I just love it. I think it's really cute and chic and I would just wear this out and about um, with a jumper and jeans. I think oversized coats make them look really expensive and like designer. But yeah, it's just really nice quality and really soft and cozy. Um, it was about 70 pounds, which obviously is expensive, but I don't think it's expensive for a good quality wool coat. Wool coats are usually expensive. I think on Zara they're normally about 130, so half the price for this little ASOS number. And I also love coats like this with a big chunky hoodie underneath. I think that looks really cool as well. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is just something I ordered for the fun of it. It's just this ruched long sleeve top and this is obviously more of like a going out top which I don't really know why I would need that. But I just love the ruche detailing. It's also got these little hooks, which um, have a little gap in between. So a completely unnecessary purchase, but definitely a cute one. The only thing I'm thinking with this top is that it might be a bit see-through, like you can literally see my hand through the top. So we'll have to see. So I got it in a size eight, which is standard and it fits perfectly. So next up is no surprise, it's a sweetheart neckline top in brown, which I didn't actually have and I'm actually not ashamed of showing these anymore because they are such a wardrobe staple for me. I wear them at home with a pair of leggings, I wear them out and about with jeans and you can even dress them up with some trousers and heels if we ever do go on a night out again. So I just think tops like this are so versatile which is why when I saw it in brown I couldn't really resist it. It's also got these little bust detailings which kind of go down in a V. The only thing I would say about this is obviously brown is not a very spring colour which we are heading into. But I actually don't know whether brown will stay because it's been such a huge thing all autumn and winter. So it'll be interesting to know. Let me know what you think in the comments about brown potentially staying for spring which just sounds so weird. But everyone's just so obsessed with it at the moment. I can't really see it going away. So yeah, let me know what you think. trousers which I mentioned with the white top and they are just plain black these might be a bit boring to some people but I've actually really been searching for a pair of leggings slash trousers that look like this after I saw a similar pair in Hayley Bieber's Vogue lookbook I'm super tall I've obviously told you guys this before so I find it really difficult to shop for bottoms so when I saw these on ASOS in a tall length I was really happy it's plain black all the way down and then they have a little split hem which I think looks really nice with a pair of heels and a blazer I am definitely going to bank these since I've been looking for a pair like this for ages and they come up really high and then hug your leg all the way down and I actually really like as well to have my ankles so my bottoms fit a little bit looser because my ankles are so skinny in comparison to the rest of my leg and I just think it looks a bit weird to wear skinny jeans sometimes so I kind of like things that slightly flare out at the bottom and these were definitely more affordable as well I think they're about 15 pounds I really shouldn't guess all the prices and then I have to put them up and they're all wrong
I also got this cute little cord set which is just grey. So, <laughs> so the top is what drew me to the cord set. It's got this underwire detailing underneath your boobs, can I say that? And a nice little neckline that also comes in. And I didn't notice on the website, but it's also got split sleeves, which look cute on the hanger. I'm not sure what they're going to look like on. I'll have to uh, give it a go. But I thought this would be a very glamorous stay-at-home outfit. And the bottoms, which are inside out, the bottoms are just plain great with a big chunky band to hold you in. And they're also really long, which is good for me. But I don't know, because they're quite long on me. I don't know if they'd be really long on other people. So maybe size down if you're thinking about getting these. And they also cuff in at the bottom, which is an absolute must have for me with joggers. I have to have a cuffed bottom. So then next up I got this little bralette which I'm not going to try on for obvious reasons. Ooh. It's just a really soft stretchy bra which I thought would be really nice in place of my Calvin Klein sports bras which I don't really think are that nice and I've actually tried this on already and it is so soft and cosy and it just feels like you're not even wearing anything and they've actually got it in a white which I'm going to order as well because I think it was something like £12. You know that you can get your use out of this in lockdown. So then moving on I also got this top which I actually thought was from weekday as well but this one's Weekend Collective. And this one's an ASOS own brand. Um, I already know this is sold out just because I think I bought the last size. But they also do a really nice one in black, which I'll leave linked in the description. But I really love quarter zip fleeces. I just think they look so cute and cosy. I always roll the sleeves up on them. But most places that do quarter zips are so expensive, like Ralph Lauren, which I do love. But if I'm just wearing it to lounge around the house in, then I'm fine with just a little mock logo like this. It is really lightweight, but I don't particularly mind that. And these types of tops are really good when you want to get dressed. And obviously you're staying at home, but you don't want to put on a proper outfit I normally would just put on a jumper like this and some leggings So I was going to save this one for last because it is a total wild card, but I ordered this khaki polo dress, which I'm not going to wear now and I don't really need. It's got this kind of runs down it, which look like runs going down your secondary school tights, so I'm glad that's back in fashion. I just thought I'd order it on the off chance and if it's really nice, bank it. I don't know what this banking of clothes is. I do think this one was quite cheap though and I would personally style it with a cute little shoulder bag and a chunky trainers maybe in the warmer months. So then last but not least, I left the most boring thing for last. I just got a pair of black mom jeans from River Island, actually, on ASOS. And I actually needed a new pair of jeans because I keep pulling up the belt loops of my jeans and it's torn the back of my jeans, which is annoying. Um, these are ASOS jeans as well, actually. They're the ASOS Farley jeans, which are my favourite jeans. The only thing that bugs me about them is they have rose gold detailing, which just looks really cheap. I don't know why they don't just leave it all silver. But these River Island ones have all silver detailing. So I thought I'd give them a go in place of my Farley jeans. They don't really fit as nice. These are definitely more mum baggy jeans, especially around the thigh as well. And then the ankle is super baggy. So I think I do still prefer the ASOS Farleys, but I am on the lookout for a good pair of straight legs. So let me know if you have any jean recommendations in the comments. So there we have it, that is everything from my ASOS haul. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. As always, everything is linked down below in the description. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and I will see you in next week's. Bye.